Hi guys, it's Rose, and today I'm sharing an unboxing video for the Sassy Pants Polish and Friends August Trio. This month, the theme is Laid in Hawaii, which is inspired by beautiful exotic flowers used to make leas. I gotta love a good play on words. So for this month, the guests are Black Label Nails and Chirality Nail Polish. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, the Laid in Hawaii box will be available for purchase on August 1st, with only a limited number of boxes ready to ship. Additional boxes may open up for pre-order, but it's not guaranteed. Each box retails for $29.99, which includes US shipping. I'll leave all links down in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. As we open the box, the first thing on the top there is a little like pamphlet that shows each maker's um, inspiration photo and a description of the polish. So we have the description of the box first, followed by Sassy Pants Polish's inspiration and her description, then Black Label Nails, and then Chirality. I always have a hard time deciding what I want to pick first, but let's go with this because it really stands out. So these are obviously some toe separators, which makes sense given that this is a getaway kind of themed box. So th this is nice because I, I don't have any because I never paint my toes. So next we have some cuticle balm from Sassy Pants Polish. And I believe this is like a new item to her shop, so I'm excited to try this out. And the last goodie in the box is these clay flowers. They are so adorable, and I have to say I love the sticker on the bag. That's so cute. The eyes are kind of like holographic. That's just adorable. I love it. So now it's time for the polish. Well, I'm not going to show you the polish, but here they are wrapped up. So I'll be doing swatches of these after I finish the unboxing portion. So let's take a closer look at all the goodies. First up, we have the toe separators. Really basic, really simple. They're foam, so they won't hurt your toes. I know these are like the ones I usually seek out. So like I said, nothing special, but it's nice to have, I guess. And next we have the mini clay flowers and these are from black label nails and i gotta say again i love the sticker on the baggie so you can actually just peel it off and put it on your helmer which is what i ended up doing because i didn't know where else to really put it and i wanted to definitely keep it so um but the actual goodie is the flowers and the flowers are like a really good like size because they'll fit nicely whether you have like shorter nails or if you have longer ones. I do have to say though, I wish that maybe there was like a couple more in the baggie, but that's just probably me being a little greedy because I do think these are adorable and I love the way they look on the nail. The last goodie in the box is the Cuticle Balm by Sassy Pants Polish in the scent of Plumeria. And I have to say, this is by far the highlight of the box in terms of goodies. I absolutely love this cuticle balm. I used it in between every one of my swatches for this box and my skin stayed so moisturized and hydrated and it looked and it felt great. So I will definitely be using this up and probably purchasing more afterwards because my skin lately has been really, really rough and like peeling, so that's like a nightmare to deal with. So I'm really loving this so far. Okay, so now it's time for everyone's favorite part of any box, the unwrapping of the polishes. So first up is Black Label Nails with their really, really cute packaging. I have to say, I gotta give them props for that. I love the whole theme of the skulls. And of course, I'm having difficulties, so let me grab the scissors. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. And unfortunately, it does look like it's spilled. Uh, that's really unfortunate, but it looks like it's spilled around the cap and it's like all dried up. So it's not like, at least it's not like getting everywhere. But it's really weird the way it's spilled. It's like, um, I guess it kind of spilled and kind of dried and I guess prevented more to from spilling out. It's kind of odd, but there's like none around the bottle itself. It's just around the cap. Moving on to the next unwrapping. Uh, looks like I'll need the scissors again because apparently I can't open anything today. But here we have, um, let's see, Chirality Nail Polish. And this is such a gorgeous shade of lavender. And finally, we have Sassy Pants Polish. And that's it. That's the entire Laden Hawaii box, which is now available for purchase, but there's only a limited number of boxes ready to ship. As I mentioned before, I'll have all links down in the description box. Now, let's get started with the swatches. First up, we have Black Label Nails laid over in Maui. And this can be described as a vibrant pink with gold and yellow shimmer. And here is the brush shot. Here is one coat of laid over Maui. And as you can see, it is very sheer on the first coat. So it does apply kind of like a jelly polish. But it does have really, really good glitter distribution. And here is the second coat of Laid Over Maui. And I am noticing that the polish is actually thickening a little bit as I'm applying the second coat. I don't think I can get away with a third without it just being unmanageable unless I add a little bit of uh, nail polish thinner. I do think it's still going to be a little bit sheer so you can see a little bit of the nail line with just two coats. And here is my swatch photo for Laid Over Maui. Next up, we have Chirality, but unfortunately I cannot pronounce the name of the polish, but I'll have it up on the screen for you guys. And this polish can be described as a light petal purple holographic polish with a shimmer. And here is a brush shot. And here is the first coat. I do have to say I am pleasantly surprised by how opaque this is, especially considering how light of a shade it is. I wasn't expecting it whatsoever. It also has a really nice consistency, a little bit on the thick side, but it's very manageable and makes the polish just glide right on. And here is the second coat. Even though this polish is opaque, I thought that a second coat could give it a little bit of more sparkle and shine so I just went ahead it plus it did have a little bit of um, patchy area so this should take care of that and here is my swatch photo and lastly we have sassy pants polish with you had me at aloha this is a green jelly with turquoise shimmer and bright green micro glitters and now here is a brush shot here is one coat of You Had Me at Aloha. And as I mentioned, it is a jelly polish, so it does apply to a really sheer consistency on the first coat. There is so much sparkle in this one. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorites in this box. Now here is the second coat of You Had Me at Aloha. There is a lot of micro glitters in this, so it's gonna dry to a gritty kind of finish. So you might need to double up on the top coat. I do still feel it's a bit sheer, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a third coat off camera. And here's my swatch photo for You Had Me at Aloha. And that, you guys, is the Laid in Hawaii box by Sassy Pants Polish and Friends. Personally, this isn't one of my favorite boxes from this series, but it still has a lot of nice things like the cuticle balm and two of the three polishes. It's unfortunate that that third one spilled, 
but I did talk to both makers and they assured me that none of the boxes had any of, um, of the bottles spilled. So at least that's good to hear. The Laden Hawaii box is now available for purchase. You can find all links down in the description box. Don't miss out because these are limited. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and a comment. Thanks. Bye.